Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Funimation is shutting down. Funimation is shutting down completely, I guess. The brand, I think, is being uh, retired and everything. And some people are really upset about this because they paid for digital downloads and apparently they're not going to have access to them. That, see, that's what happens. That's why you can't rely on digital media. No, we've been telling people this. This happened with uh, Sony, too. They had a bunch of Warner Brothers movies. Now, I think they gave people more time, but, like, you know, you're, you're quote, unquote, buying these movies, but you're not actually buying these movies unless you have a physical copy. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so what happened was Sony, which owns Funimation, bought Crunchyroll off of Warner Brothers, and now they're just going to use the Crunchyroll brand and, I guess, retire the Funimation brand completely. They're going to merge the streaming services. Uh, and... Yeah, you're going to lose some Funimation stuff as a result of that. So I also think that we're going to have some uh, localizers lose their jobs, um, especially the ones that work to Funimation. You know, so let's uh, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woo uh, so this has come from Niche Gamer and we'll talk about this. And then we're going to talk about people being uh, pissed off about losing their their uh, digital purchases. Uh, Funimation is shutting down this year. They announced they will be shutting down their services later this year as part of their ultimate merger with Crunchyroll. So back in 2020, Sony and Funimation acquired Crunchyroll. This put the two major anime streaming sites under one umbrella. Then in 2022, Sony made the decision to merge both together under Crunchyroll. So we heard years ago that Crunchyroll was in trouble, that Warner Brothers could shut it down or make it part of... Uh, HBO Max or whatever the, the deal was. And then it turned out they just sold it off to Sony. And then Sony decided they were going to use Crunchyroll instead of Funimation for their brand. Did, does that make sense? Like, it's just all over the place. It is all over the place. <laughs> all right. Now, after having been announced for two years and combining their libraries, Funimation's finally shutting down. Uh, as part of Crunchyroll's unification of fan services announced in March 2022, the Funimation app and website will sunset on April 2nd, 2024. This is not an April Fool's joke. Uh, rest assured, this transition will not impact your access to the vast library of anime available on Crunchyroll. We remain committed to delivering the best anime streaming experience and will continue to expand our offerings to cater to your diverse interests. Oh boy. Well, they probably did it on the second, so they didn't say, oh, look, it's April Fool's. Yeah, but, but, but there's a snag. Uh, anime fans are frustrated, according to IGN, as Funimation digital copies won't move to Crunchyroll. So a lot of stuff you bought, if you bought it on the Funimation app, you're not going to be able to take it with you. Yeah, you're going to have access to Crunchyroll stuff, but uh, not everything you paid for. It said the guide, line, the guide explained the merger, which will see Funimation fully absorbed on April 2nd, two years after it was announced, makes the lack of digital copy transferring clear. We understand that you may have concerns about your digital copies from Funimation. They said, please note that Crunchyroll does not currently support Funimation digital copies, which means that access to previously available digital copies will not be supported. That, this, again, is the problem because a lot of these places they shut down, you lose that. Yeah. So... People are pissed. Of course, anime fans haven't responded particularly well, they said, taking the social media to share their frustration. Digital is rental. Example 2,371. Yeah, it is. Stop paying for streaming media. Mm -hmm. Buy things you actually own. It was nice to have them. I'm glad I invested in the physical versions of these shows. I will not be switching to Crunchyroll after the shutdown. So on Reddit. Um, they said there's some caveats to this. The point the issues with Funimation's original system more than Crunchyroll's absorption. Funimation is primarily a streaming website. It doesn't allow users to purchase individual anime series. So the copies were promotion made through purchasing the DVDs or Blu-rays. So that explains because we actually do have, well, we're going to lose those. We actually have some like My Hero Academia and some other stuff, I think, that we're mm -hmm. going to lose. Yeah, I think. And then I think you sync it with like Voodoo or something. I don't know. I forget how it worked. But yeah, they give you like a, a, a coupon. Well, I remember once upon a time you were all about it and wanted to do all voodoo stuff and then for years now you've been like I was. after you saw like how it was going you're like nope nope we're just doing physical yeah no i i was i i was like well this is great because i can save all this room on my shelf and i can just go to digital and i can just have all my stuff and it's like in hammer space and it's going to be there forever and ever and ever i'm like nope that's not how it works or 
they can go change it. Like if you have a digital copy, they can go in, oh, hey, this is problematic. Let's let's upload an edited version of this movie. Kind of like what we're seeing with Disney Plus, right? We're gonna we're gonna put uh extra hair on Daryl Hannah's ass yeah, on Splash much. or right. uh, Lilo and Stitch for whatever reason she's crawling inside of a pizza box or something instead of the washing machine or the dryer. Yeah, it was yeah, it was some kind of box or something. Yeah. And it was like okay. So um <laughs> This is this is kind of a problem though because it seems like all of anime is getting consolidated under the Funimation slash Crunchyroll. I guess it's just Crunchyroll umbrella now, and uh, they shut down. They're shutting down Right Stuff Anime too, which was you know a, a, a huge online store. So now everything's come from Crunchyroll, but I, I guarantee you uh, this is going to be the end of a lot of localizers. Uh, this is going to be the end of a lot of voice actors too because they don't need them. Well. <laughs> You'd say that, but then watch it go the other way. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. So if we go out to Twitter, um, people are like, yeah, they, they deserve it for what they did to Vic Mignogna. Oh, well, boy, here we go. Everybody's going to start. Yep. Oh, my God. You know, there's, and you know what makes me mad? They're still triggered by Vic Mignogna. It's been years. They are. It's so weird. Like, if we even mention Vic Mignogna, oh, my God, mention Vic Mignogna in this video. Well, let's watch the comments, see what happens. I guarantee it. Um, so this is a uh, culture crave. People are reacting. There needs to be a class action lawsuit against companies that delete your digital library. But this has been, this has been going on for years. This is now that's impacting you. Yeah. This is why physical media preservation is so important. And I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I agree with you. I don't think this is right in any way, shape, or form. And I think it's crap. I'm just saying it's not a new thing. And we do need to – it should be stopped. But it's like first time. There's this too. Oh, yeah. They're jacking the prices. 100 bucks. 100 bucks wow. a year. I remember when Shocker. Crunch... Shocker. Is anybody surprised by this, honestly? No, nobody's surprised by this. You shouldn't be surprised. I'm surprised you're surprised, but, you know, there are other other options out there, uh, I guess. But... and crappy content. Woo. Well, that's just it. Like, all the new all the new anime is pretty much going to go through Crunchyroll at this point. It seems like... That's what they're all going on about. It's like a monopoly. Yeah. I mean, I like Retro Crush, but how long until they buy Retro Crush, too? You know? <laughs> so that I can't even have the old stuff. So I got to go dig up some DVDs of Bubblegum Crisis or something. Yeah, how many DVDs can I get for 100 bucks? I remember, God, we we actually have a massive DVD library of anime. We do. But that's mostly older stuff, though. It is, but that's the best stuff, right? Well, it <laughs> depends. Some of the good stuff's good, but yeah. But we uh, got a lot of those. I remember at Big Lots. Big Lots we had. We did. We used to get them all the time. It was when a lot of the other companies went out of business. It was like Pioneer and um oh what, what were the other companies that went out uh adv and like they were all going out but of business the so. problem was you only would get like parts of, like you couldn't get like the whole series like yeah be, like this many episodes and you have to go and then if you bought those until you found the one or two you're missing you end up paying as much as you would have for the whole series anyway oh i remember yeah there were a couple series like uh saint tail i think saint tail yeah i went which i guess they're bringing that back out again but like i had to get the last part of it or i tried to get the last part on ebay and it was like just that one disc was like 50 60 they bucks or sold something those because they were worth a whole bunch of money they were and now they're bringing it back so. okay well, we'll have to get it when it brings back because i remember um squid king used to love that one yeah so you know like oh, i used to watch this i don't remember i yeah i love saint tail saint tail was good and uh pretty sammy i know i sold those and oh that would have been money. pinky boo like and i wish i wouldn't have sold saint uh pretty sammy i love tenchi but yeah we used to get them for like three bucks each we have tons and tons and tons of dvds we still have a bunch but uh no funimation introduced me to anime bro no 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 yeah people are more they're more upset about the price though I just hope they're not going to bankroll more High Guardian Spice. I was Spice. thinking it. I was just thinking it. I'm like, yes, because currency roll where you get High Guardian Spice. The world uh, has truly entered a great pirate era. <laughs> okay, that's funny, actually. Yeah, Crunchy Roll is going to fall soon. The great consolidation begins to intensify. This is good, having only one streaming service rather than to buy one for each. Well, no, actually, it's not good because they can charge whatever they want. Right, that's the problem. You know? Um, I mean, where it's easier to have to keep spend it. You, you think it was a better deal, but like, hey, like for cable, everybody cut the cord. You're like, I'm just going to go get live TV with like Hulu or, you know, and Netflix and stuff. And I'm good. And that once upon a time worked. Not everybody and their brother is, has theirs and they all want money for it. And everything's so, so fragmented across so many different platforms until you pay for everything that you need to use to get what you used to get. You're going to spend way more money. Yeah. Uh. Look at this. Netflix and the rest of these subscription industries. This is Alligator Man on, on uh, Twitter. Uh, in for a trip. Look at Disney with the price hikes. Yeah, Hulu. How much is Hulu now? Hulu $90. Is like $90. It was 35 when we started. And that wasn't that long ago. 
No. So that's, I, th I think people are in for a very rude awakening. Once they become a, like a true monopoly and all the new anime is going to go through Crunchyroll, the prices are going to go up and up and up and up and up and up. But uh, there we go, guys. So RIP Funimation. I think a lot of people might be happy to see it go given the state that it's in right now and some of the people working there. But um, there it is. We're going to wrap it up. Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.